Hi there, welcome to the video. Uh, title says it all really, Chinese digger or not. Uh, whether you can spot from the picture, this is an XN08, uh, or a rhinoceros XN08 to give it its full name. Uh, it makes me smile every time I say the rhinoceros bit. Uh, in fact, it's so embarrassing, I've taken the rhinoceros decals off the machine. I've had this, I was open to this uh, review on the full machine at some point, but I haven't had time. So this is sort of an interim introduction video is why, why why would you want to buy one of these machines and hopefully I'm going to do a full review of this machine and what I would consider the uh, nearest com competitor which would be the Carter machine, the CT. Uh, this is a, a, an XN08 swing boom, so the equivalent Carter that they're just bringing in with the swing boom I think is a CT10. Uh, V very very similar but we'll go into that later on so why a Chinese mini digger you know you, you go on any of the forums online you've been everybody said you know get a Kubota get a Yamaha they'll hold their price and what have you and this and that and you don't want to buy any of that Chinese rubbish uh, and a lot of people spouting off and they haven't even sat on one of these machines <coughs> so I was looking around for quite a period of time I've been driving diggers since I was about 14 years old old M MS MF back actors, front loaders, uh, up through uh, anything up to about far four, six ton, including quite a few mini or micro diggers, you know, one ton, anywhere between a ton and a 1.8 ton. And so I've used old machines, I was brought up in old machines, and I've been uh, used more modern machines. So I uh, I'm, don't do it professionally, it's just, you know. Uh, tasks that I have to do that you know I have used quite a few machines so why why the Chinese digger well I started looking and I obviously started looking for Kubota's Yamaha's uh, uh, Tegabuchi however you pronounce it <coughs> and to be honest the cheapest and even they uh, were uh, unknown quantity the cheapest uh, I could find you're talking about seven seven and a half grand upwards plus the VAT normally if it's through a trade and I'm not VAT registered so you're talking uh, uh, quite a bit of money anybody says you can pick them up for four or five grand you know you, you unless you actually know some news desperate to get rid of one or uh or under suspicious circumstances because that's the other thing a lot of machines you find online is uh some of them have been stolen what have you so i couldn't find uh, you know sort of seven thousand pound was sort of my limit and i i wasn't able to find a seven thousand pound machine readily available local to me uh, i did find a couple of things but they were miles away and it uh, you know it was in the covid lockdown couldn't go and see the machine the companies were quite happy to put it on a pallet and ship it to me but then if there's a problem i've got a lemon the problem's then mine uh, <coughs> there's a lot of gray import machines about i'll be careful of those i sort of looked into that i found a nice uh i think it was an ihi machine some sending it was about five and a half grand with a couple of buckets uh i got into it doesn't seem to be a, a major importer that somebody can get all the spares in this country a company i sort of trapped them down on the internet sent them an email they were very good they got back and i said can you get parts for this machine gave them one one they said yes what do you need uh we we can get the parts from japan i said well i've not actually got the machine at the moment. i'm just so that so it doesn't appear to be for the, some of these old older machines gray imports and a lot of them, to be quite honest, are in 1980s machines. The parts are probably available, but not ready available. Okay, so if you've got some bespoke, you know, hoses and all that sort of stuff, you can pretty much get made up. Uh, so, and suspiciously, rightly or wrongly, a lot of these import machines seem to have very low hours for their age, which didn't quite add up to me. So. Uh, after toying with it for a while, you know how it is, you mull it over, I just, I dismissed the grey import machines. I just thought that is probably, and I'm just making more work for yourself. And the other thing is, say, is is getting a machine that's a bit of a lemon. You know, a lot of us, you know, if you, you buy a machine, you want to be jump on it if you use, you use it. I, you don't want to do, you know, and I'm quite capable as an next man to repair my own stuff, you know. I've been fixing my own stuff for years, but, you know, you want to be getting on with the job. You don't want to be spending uh, your time fixing it. So, this machine, how much you got? So it's a swing boom XN08 with the little single cylinder copy of a Yamaha engine. I had it with the three buckets, 200, 300, and a 500 grading bucket, plus to make sure I had a whole package. So if I'm sending it on a few years, it would sell a bit easier. I bought the rake, I bought a quick hitch. More talk about the quick hitch 
in my full review and uh, a hydraulic grading but so a tilting bucket and again I'll review that fully because there's a few quirks in the machine and you are going to have to do uh, a few bits and pieces to uh, <coughs> get that to work properly uh, so yeah I think I think I'm thinking it's just over 7,000 it's, it's 7, or 7,162 and that was delivered to my house okay all in a brand new machine 12 months warranty a brand new machine and I thought that would be a safer bet than uh, you know the risk of buying a, a second hand machine just buying a second hand no machine I should say you know just buying it because oh it's going to be worth a bit of money it's going to save some money in a few years these machines input machines or this particular model is really really basic it's basically a motor hydraulic pump some hoses mechanic no electronics apart from its 12 volt battery and an alternator system it's got on the engine uh, no electronics at all I would say the technology is like a 30 year old machine which uh, is what basically I was brought up on and to be honest <clears throat> uh, once you got your muscle memory with the machine I would say you know it, it, it digs as well you can do just a good job as a modern machine with the electronics and servo controls no I wouldn't want to spend eight hours a day five days a week on it but if you're a DIY self build small holding uh, landscape gardener who's not going to be sitting in a machine uh, 40 hours a week uh, which personally I wouldn't want to be doing on any machine anyway is uh, I, th I think it's ideal it's uh, it's cheap enough that it doesn't matter if it sits around for a bit not doing any work and is and is and is there when you need it as regards to the machine it always amazes me how the Chinese especially with something like this are able to make it and sort of just good enough that it does the job uh, don't get me wrong it's, it's built like a tank but uh, is uh, there are a few I would say all the structural stuff and all the important stuff uh, and all the welding and all that is really really well done where it falls down a little bit is fit and finish on some of the panels and what have you but it's purely cosmetic uh, and there's a funny a few other funny quirks as uh, that have made me smile along the way <clears throat> and comparing it to the carter which i'll be able to do in full once i've seen the machine is there so many variations in the machine you really really don't know what who's who is making what i think this machine which means she, machine is made by jinyu i think Z I N U, which is where the xn comes in <clears throat> but actually they're very similar or commonalities with the uh, carter in fact from the photographs i've seen the carter undercarriage and track system uh the chassis if you like underneath uh is identical to this uh as is the arm a lot of them got the same arm on albeit you know it might have different cutouts in the uh, plate but actually the the shape and what so who's copying who i don't know and who is making what i don't know because it could be there could be just one company making the arms and one company making the undercarriage who knows uh there's so many variations on theme and in fact there's some that look very similar to an xn08 but the panels are different but then the the uh, cab and frame is the same uh, they all appear to use these same rubber handles you know uh, these uh, rubber handles on here so uh, you know is uh, I wouldn't get too hung up on uh, whether it's a Carter or a Rhino the reason why I want to go and see the Carter is because it works out and it could just be the people importing it uh, thinking it'll take it you know it, they can put the price up and make a bit more out of them but the Carter is on this equivalent machine I think about thousand fifteen hundred pound more money and that intrigues me somewhat is what is the difference between because on paper the limited amount of information you can get on these machines on paper is uh, basically the same same engine same hydraulics uh, uh, I think the carters uh, might be running steel hoses up the boom instead of the rubber all the way. Uh, the, I say I want to save it, although this video is going to be too long, a full review, and I can compare both uh, to, to see what you think. I, I'm, re I'm reasonably happy with the machine. I think uh, the first machines that came out were basic. They got no swing boom on them. And... Uh, 
but as soon as the swing boom came out and I've had a few machines here we've got quite a tight sight and uh, I know how much of the, I use the swing boom as soon as the swing boom came out the, the these import these Chinese import diggers uh, really started to attract my attention I, I you know I spent a good couple of months digging around trying to find some information but I say the information is limited which is why I'm help, hoping to help you guys through some of the uh, stuff save you a bit of time so you don't have to go through everything I went through trying to find out what was what uh, so there'll be follow-up videos there'll be a sort of follow-up video comparing this and the Carter which I think are the two main machines for the UK uh, this I think there's two companies uh, importing those so there's a reasonable amount of backup it means about a knowledge there and a, a bit of a spares backup as well so uh, there's there seems to be random machines popping up on eBay uh, I think high top is another one uh, but there's two companies that are the real contenders that import in the XN the uh, Jin Yu machines and, and the Carter machines so that'll be interesting I'll, I'll do a full full review on this what I like I don't like uh, I've actually done some mods on this uh, simple mods such as putting a horn on it because it didn't have a horn I think the Carter one's got a horn when it comes and uh, a return line filter uh, I, and point, I'll point out I haven't actually made them yet there's some guard I want to make for the rams uh, because within the first week uh, dropped a on the blade hose and pinch the hose and that push out, out, out of action for a few days but yeah so more to come uh, I'm not going to uh, you know recommend anything it's up to you guys all I'm going to do is, is point you in the right direction so you can make an educated decision is because you know it's easy to go on the forums you get on a, a professional forum and all the naysayers are on there they've not even jumped on one of these machines and had a go so they don't really really know and I say I've used uh, old machines and new machines and to be quite honest even some of the new machines they've got a bit of wear on them uh, this digs better than some of those you know you get a machine and they uh, hire a machine in and the buckets flopping around in the end because the bushes have gone uh, that's no use to you if you're trying to do a nice grading job uh, and which is one of the reasons for getting this you, you knew the starting point you were starting from and if it's only you driving the machine you can look after it and how I looked at it, I said I probably only got a couple of hours, two or three hundred hours of use of this over a couple of years. Is the price of the machines is slowly going up, the price of steel is going up. Uh, I think I'll probably even break even comparing to the higher cost, but I have the added convenience of the machine being here. Anyway, that's all for now, though it's going to be a really long video. There'll be more videos to follow. Uh, thanks for watching.